Okay, we will stop the film there. <laughs> we should probably tell you what this film's about. <laughs> um, we've just reached 30,000 on this channel, which is kind of mind blown, really. Really is. It took us four, four and years and a half. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> on our other channel to do that. So thank you so much. Yeah, so it's taken a year, a year and a half. And as a celebration, we have made this compilation. God, oh, I know, I can't say that word. <laughs> compliment. Now I can't say it. <laughs> of all of, of sort of where it started, with a lot of unseen footage for this channel. And it all started with our mudlarking doll's house. Yeah. Which, mudlarking is basically going to places and finding old... Victorian and older rubbish, rubbish. old rubbish dumps, landfills, yeah. but Victorian ones, and the 1920s, um, earlier, later, 1940s, and we collect lots of sort of social history, and then also we started collecting random bits, and we decided to start making miniatures out of them. And it's because I had a doll's house that didn't have anything in it. And we kept finding small miniature things, didn't we? And it suddenly mm -hmm. occurred to us, well, we can make a whole doll's house. So yeah. That's literally the beginnings of this channel. And yeah, we did that on our other channel. And then we decided to make a channel solely based on that. And then it evolved into other things. way beyond that. Yes. <laughs> but this is where it all started. And we are going to hopefully work on finishing this project yeah, over the it's next couple of months. Sort of look back, hasn't it, to where it began and makes us want to carry on we sort of stopped but we want to carry on now so let's go so this is us picking up pieces of wood to make things for the house the bee this is sunny the toothless cat and this is one of the boxes we bought in an ebay lot don't know what it would have been for. Probably tools, they mm -hmm. said, maybe. Sunny loving the sun. <laughs> Sunny being clumsy. <laughs> and this is our magical drawer of metal bits. You have to be quite careful whilst you yes. rummage around in it. And then this is another box that is eventually turned into a room of pre-sorted sort of bits for miniatures. Because we started, as we usually do, with the kitchen. Yeah. Pre-bought wallpaper. We did leave the green as the wall of the kitchen down the bottom. Yeah, it's a nice green. It's a lovely green. But that wallpaper's nice too. It I is. think it's reproduction triangle wallpaper. It's really raining here today. Yes, yeah, I wonder if you can hear. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's rained a lot in England. It's the kitchen flooring. Again, trying, I think, reproduction. Oh, I imagine you probably can hear the rain, it's so loud. <laughs> and then, yeah, we built the second floor with more sort of driftwood. But it's not driftwood, because it's not on the beach. It's just in sort of grassland along the estuary, so it's not supporting any sort of ecosystem. No. <laughs> This is a broken knife, and how this didn't snap. Don't know. It's terrifying. <laughs> and then. Ooh, our favourite tiny hammer. <laughs> I can't believe how well that 
piece of wood fit into that space as the table. I'm still very proud of this one. Mm. Just a tiny little something. <laughs> Widget. Another little something. <laughs> Girl of copper. My green nail varnish that lots of people really don't like. <laughs> Mussel shells that we found, and I remember finding them and being like, oh "My goodness!" Yes, that was on the exotic shell, shell beach. beach. That was fun. That was a really fun day. Loads of tiny exotic shells, basically. Not that mussels are exotic, but tiny mussels like yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And then I think that was it for our first video, wasn't it, on this channel? We just built the table and the muscles. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then, yes, building the stove was quite difficult. Yeah. Again, just more random. random. I mean, there's a button there, I think. Possibly an escutcheon. I don't know what this... Did we ever find out what the front was from? I think it might from like a lantern maybe? Mm-hmm. Fancy. Fancy transitions. <laughs> Are you a hammer Tiny again? hammer. <laughs> I'm not sure how much it's doing, but... Well, it's fun to flatten it then. Yeah. So yeah, there's an old um, lens from possibly a lantern in there as well. Don't know what this is. Don't know what that is. It makes quite a good chimney. Is that straight? Straight. Yeah. Uh, flu. That's it. Some stick collecting. In the garden. It's possibly an old bike bell. Hmm. Some milliput. So I realise this isn't realistic and what would be inside of a stove, but. Tray. Mm. It's the, the right impression, though. Yeah. <laughs> Rivets, I think. Mm -hmm. They make good hobs. I really like the patina on the. Yeah. Again, you know, it doesn't really look like a stove, but. It's cosy. Yeah, it's, it's the feel. It's always about the feel. <laughs> Thank you.
Sus pa. Wesen. Pa. Oh my goodness. Sunny cats just sat on the laptop. <laughs> Yeah, I think that that's bubbles. Staple. Nail. Proper nail. Ship's nail. Really is a windy, blustery, wet day out there. Really is. It's just oh, it's just a small selection of some sort of things we found. This is an old um... <laughs> cat is being cap. More of our sea glass tray. Of the plastic dolphin, not the fish. <laughs> That's a spawn. Oh, it's a plastic spawn. <laughs> so it's a milliput, because I'm going to be making an app a sea glass apple pie. I imagine you could probably hear Sunny Cat purring. Happens when Sunny Cat, it's not sunny and he can't go outside. He becomes very clingy. <laughs> Use milliput for a lot. Though. Well, we haven't recently. That's the thing. Have yeah. We? yeah. I've kind of missed doing. Using my imagination with <laughs> random pieces of metal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it can be quite hard sometimes though. The stove took a long time. Yeah, but all of the beds. Yeah, the cot. The cot was. What you'll see. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and the bird cage. The bird cage is one of the biggest regrets of my <laughs> creative life. <laughs> second bird cage. That was the second bird cage we've made. We the first one the was a lot easier, I think. It, it fell apart, though. It did. That's probably <laughs> why it was easier. <laughs> Bottle caps are very good. They really are. For mudlarking doll's houses or any doll's house. Mm -hmm. All of these paint pans we use in our videos are also found ones. This is a antique Windsor and Newton one. Obviously it's broken, but it still works. And we've got a lot of them. Yeah, it's very handy. And all the pots that our water's in, same. Yep, found mud locking. Oops. <laughs> is that pie colour? I'm not sure it is, but... This, this is going to be coloured up. Yeah. This was a long time ago. This was a, a, over a year ago. It was, uh, yeah. Yeah, weirdly, I think we could probably do it better now. We could do a much better pie now. But it's all part of the journey. Gadget people, are we? What's, what's wrong with this? Well, nothing. It's just that there was like a tool in the background that I don't know what it's supposed to be for, and I suspect we were using it for the wrong purpose, but it was working. Look 
like our lives probably would be a lot easier if we did actually have the correct tools <laughs> to do things sometimes. <laughs> Yeah, that long metal thing. What is that like for sculpting? Yes, it does. Is that for sculpting? Okay. You can see. Yeah, it's a sculpting tool. Right. I think the pie looks alright in the end. Yeah, mm, it's all the lovely the setting. texture. Yeah, yeah. It's the aesthetic. Especially with the green as well brings out the third degree. Mhm. Mm Now this, I am still proud of. Yes. So this was a big piece of wood that we found that had the turquoise colour already on it. That's why we said we used a mask, because some old paint is lead-based. But... Oh, Sunny. Yeah, I was very chuffed with this. Yeah, no, it's beautiful. Not quite finished, though. It doesn't have any doors at the bottom yet. <laughs> no. <laughs> so obviously it's black on the other side, so I keep on I show it from that angle. I do quite look in I do like looking for driftwood though. Mm. There's, there's some beautiful pieces, aren't there? Yeah. Again, I think we need to think some river wood. Mm. River wood. <laughs> That's not easy to say. No. Because it's not been in the sea at any point. Most of this, yeah, comes from next to. The estuary. Yeah, and it's a, it's a sort of a horrible little bit because it's where all the plastic gathers to. It's a giant sort of bend in the water and it's where all of the detritus lands. And we have made a film where we went and collected a bunch and made a lighthouse with it on this channel too. But there's lots of wood that washes up there too. Yeah, we've made a couple of trips there picking up the rubbish, haven't we? We have. But even some of the rubbish is, the plastic rubbish is interesting. Yeah, it is, yeah. It's, it's a shame it's there, but yeah, some but, yeah. of it is interesting. I just like all the different textures that all the woods have. Probably could do with the cup doors. Yes, probably. But we can so do that. So this is a tiny piece of clay pipe stem, which was the olden day equivalent of basically a cigarette butt. <laughs> so they had clay pipes that they used to smoke, and when they finished, they just threw them away. I mean, you've got fancy ones, but lots of them were just plain like this. I think, though, they used to break them down so they lasted longer. So that's why you find oh. so many pipe stems. I figured it would make quite a cute jam jar. And this was very fiddly. Yes, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't do it justice how long that No. Did. This again. <laughs> it's also the trouble with things that aren't even on the bottom. <laughs> That's what the beauty of wax, we didn't use wax when we made this. No. And then that's a tiny, I think it's off a Quickly, what are they called? Cars. Spark plug. A spark plug, the lodge one. And then that's a tiny tile with a tiny piece of, like an advertisement from a 1920s newspaper stuck onto found. it. That we found this lovely little mouse was gifted to us by a subscriber. And then just some random metal bits. Well, that's a um, cabochon. Yes, the glass on top is a little cabochon 1920s piece of jewellery that looks like a bunch of sort of blackberries. And the thing underneath, some random widget again. <laughs> and then, so the thing on the left is the bone end of an antique knitting needle. The thing on the right is a 1920s glass bead. Cabochon again, I think. Cabochon. And then the things are on it, they're on our bone gaming counters. 
probably from Victorian times. And it's a cheese board. And that little curl that's supposed to be a little curl of butter is another tiny shell from the exotic shell beach. A canoe bubble. A canoe bubble shell. And a tiny knife. And I was, <laughs> we were so pleased with this, weren't we? Yeah, the canoe bubble really does look like a curl, curl of butter. butter. And yeah, it looks like camembert and a wedge of sort of smoked cheddar. Oh yeah, it. it I think it's still that's my favourite yeah. thing we've made. See, that's what was fun. That's yeah. And this is some snippets of finding, because we didn't just find. We don't just find things to make. We find antique, Victorian nineteen twenties, um, toys and doll bits just in the woods. Here is, yeah. I love that tray, it's such a shame the end is broken. Mm. The carpet was made by a subscriber out of mushroom dyed wool. Yes. It's we allow of... ourselves to put things that subscribers have sent us in there, don't we? Yes. And she sent us a wonderful little ball of the wool, the mm. yellow stuff that we had used. used it quite a lot. So they are stair carpet rods as the shelf brackets again found. And that tiny little ginger cat we found on a beach among the seaweed is Victorian. I was very excited when I found that tiny cat. If, if, I imagine most people would be. Well, yes. I mean, we get very excited, don't we? Yes. <laughs> when we find things. If you haven't seen our mudlarking, maybe have a look, because sometimes we do get quite excited. Mm -hmm. The things we find are... There are a lot of doll-related things. Yes. I love that old toothpaste. Yeah. Toothbrush. That's an old toothbrush, yeah. an old bone toothbrush from a 1920s bottle dump. I was quite chuffed with this too. I it was fun. So yeah, this I made a little sieve. utensil um shelf, yes, yeah, so a ladle, a sieve. What are those little fork things? We find them a lot, they work well. I think they're part of electrical sort of fuses, I think maybe connectors. And then that's an actual the end of an actual spoon stuck onto a little metal thing that curves. We found this tiny little glass bottle and this is some dried lavender. There you go. Heart shaped bottle. Yeah, so delicate. Did it have smelling salts in it? Possibly, yeah. Old copper nails are very useful. We use them a lot. We do. They're quite often hooks. These are some French jet black glass morning beads that were sent to us. Uh, we got a lot of them, so we figured we could use some as coal in this little... We do find coal. a lot of them as well, don't we? We do find a lot, but they're less shiny when we find them. Found a couple of found jugs. We find a lot of those too. We do. The pumpkin lid there, the little ceramic, the bisque pumpkin lid, Mum found, and then we've made the milliput pumpkin for the that bottle. That little of stoneware it. bottle, I didn't believe it was a tiny stoneware bottle when you found it. Yeah, but found it, it, it on but the then beach. We, and it is because we found we, there's some that came with the 1920s doll's house, mm -hmm. so it confirmed that it actually was. So a little bit sweet corn, a plastic strawberry, and a little glass orange bead that just has green stuck on it, but it looks like a persimmon or something. Yeah, <laughs> the cat. This, <laughs> it, this is what's so fun about it. I know it. it is. Oh no, we go back to the cat in a second. <laughs> this is the. 
ingredients for a teapot. I don't know if you can hear really cat cleaning He's making a horrible noise. <laughs> so the little bottom bit and the top bit aren't, weren't found together. But they just fit so perfectly. Again, a little curved nail. It's weird. Watching it is making me want to go back. It was fun. I do like the colours. Yeah, it's lovely. Oh, when do we do the cat? I think the cat's coming up. Hey, it's raining again. Oh, so this is the bird cage. And I had made one before out of pins. And then I found these bits of an old battery that I thought would make it a much easier process. And it, it did not. <laughs> so... <laughs> I like it. It stayed together. It did. And I was very chuffed with the bird. That is a half a broken bead as the, the, the body. And then a tiny little glass stamen. Something <laughs> or other as the head. That just happened to have the yellow glass beak. And it just it just worked. And it does swing swing inside. I, I, I like it. <laughs> and it took so long. It this really did. It does not do it justice how long it took to try and figure it out. But the base is... We, our hair looks exactly the same in this clip. <laughs> the base is the back of an old watch. She probably have soldered it, but you know how you, to solder. I I know how to solder, but with like antique Old, yeah. um, metal, it just it tends to just sort of split. Yeah, oh, the base isn't a watch. I changed the base, but I think that's. I think it's good, <laughs> and it hasn't fallen apart. It hasn't. No. It goes with the look. Again, look how brilliantly curved that yeah. nail is. It just came like we found it like that. Obviously, it didn't originally come like that, but we found it like that. Well, they that. do that so the boats don't link. It's a boat nail. Oh. Boat, don't, boats don't leak. It's like to stop the water coming out. Oh. Sunny, please. <laughs> Sunny. There he is. <laughs> it's like he got... <laughs> It's like you it's like you called him out of the laptop. <laughs> oh, we find a lot of legs and arms. We do. And what we find really cool is that each one of these legs and arms would have come from what we like to believe was a well-loved doll. Yeah. And played with for potentially... made a lot of dolls. We have made a lot of dolls. And it's always a challenge to find arms and legs that match. So this is vintage fabric. The thing is, every doll we've made is completely different. Body size. Completely just, different. Just, just some of them are rougher than others. We keep saying we want to make a proper one, don't we? Like yeah. an actual, with lovely clothes. Mm -hmm. and, um, I am in the moment editing all the dolls we've made into a film. Mm -hmm.
because that's the thing, we made lots of miniatures over on our other channel before we started this yeah, channel. Yeah, and it seems a shame that they're not on this channel. Mm -hmm. It feels like they need to be. And also, if we're, go if we're gonna start up the mud logging dolls house again, quite a lot of the dolls that will be in the next parts mm -hmm. were made on the other channel. Yeah. Like Bitsy. Norma. Yeah, the number one, the number two doll. It's hard to believe though, it took us a very long time to find the parts to make those first two dolls. Yeah. The first one especially. Yeah. And then it was like an avalanche of yeah. names. <laughs> Dolls Hospital, haven't we? We do. It needs sorting out though, because, like I say, we, we yeah. have so many limbs now. We could have made it a lot bigger. Yeah. Very early on, didn't we? From a lovely subscriber. Mm -hmm. It's been very useful. <laughs> Why? Why? Because we ordered it to um, <laughs> make a teddy bear and it didn't. We got so much of it. It's just, it was not fun. No, but it's. It was more, I mean, it's sawdust. They would have they would have been yeah. filled with sawdust. I mean, again, maybe one day we should actually do it as well, it was. Dad's been collecting sawdust for us, mm. so maybe we should. Been collecting sawdust so we can use it for dirt and stuff in miniature projects, but we can fill dolls with it too. This doll ends up with very long arms. <laughs> but the thing is, when you look at the original dolls, they were they all were, sorts. They of... were distorted beyond. Because I imagine the people. So you know, had to build her a new <laughs> neck and shoulders with Millie, but. So she, she doesn't really have a neck. No. But they were in a sort of production line, they were handmade. But the people who made them all probably had their own distinct style of their mm -hmm. own body they made, the length of arm they made. <laughs> <laughs> So when you see them, they do, I mean, maybe not quite like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Why did neither of us on the day say, oh, her arms are quite long? I don't She's a cook, she needs long arms to stir in the <laughs> bowl. Ah, see? Cat. There's the, the cat. cat. That's not the cat. No. <laughs> so this is a tiny curl of glass we found on the beach and in my head it just looked like a cat so mum made some little milliput ears for it look <laughs> it looks like a cat curled up asleep or a fox black fox yeah I do I, yeah and that's just a a nub of wood. Yeah. I really, yeah, it looks so cosy and it just works, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
my attempt at animation. I mean, later on you'll see. This is so much better than it was well, like, yeah, the other little scene <laughs> later. Because we stopped trying to do stop motion. Let's <laughs> have one of her very long arms. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> She's very pale. Look at the length of the We had any comments either no, about the legs of her arms. Looking at it there, though, it just, yeah, oh, it's like something out of a horror film. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the long-armed lady. <laughs> Which is our fireplace in the study in the crafting room. Hmm. Oh, I remember this being this fireplace being very difficult too. We both made one, didn't we? Yes, we did. And then we went with mine. Yes, we did. <laughs> but all of those tiny little tiles we found on a little shingle beach that we walked... Uh, oh, here we go, yeah. We walked miles to get yeah, to the beach. Yeah, we got lost on the way back too. Yeah, got really <gasps> lost. Oh, it was... Yeah. And um, all we had to show for it was a selection of tiny tiles that we found. But we really liked the I tiny tiles. I love those tiny tiles. But it was, it was a long walk to Ooh, get them. And yeah. yeah, we had to end up walking back through... Like stinging nettles past our head and stuff. Yeah. It was <laughs> and like up really steep, like cliffs and yeah. not quite cliffs. <laughs> they felt Small like hills. cliffs to me. I was very out of breath. <laughs> but that's also why I love these miniatures because yeah, every item we have all these memories and stories attached to them. Mm -hmm. I do remember we just stayed there for a while trying to find these tiny tiles. Yeah, because we found one, and then we found another, and then we yeah we were like, oh, we could make a fireplace, so we needed to gather enough to do that. I think we found them all that were on that beach. But yeah, if it wasn't so far away, I'd go there again and look for more, but mm. I don't ever want to go back. No. Sunny cat's fallen asleep now, so it's okay. I don't know what age, maybe they're like fifties, or what they would have been from. Like mosaics? Yeah, maybe a floor. They are beautiful though. They are, the sort of mottled ones are lovely. And the colours, they are mm -hmm. quite fifties colours. Half a walnut. Half a walnut. A quarter of a walnut. It was difficult to get the angles on the tiles. Yes. And this is a bit of a um, trust the process, yes. as usual. Yes. I think it looks really good, though. I, yeah, I was actually really pleased the way it turned out. I mean, I, that could go in a, a real doll's house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> E-glass. More river glass, I think that one is. Oh. <laughs> but it just kind of was already the shape of a flame, so. Oscar, my little brother, found this on a mudlarking trip, and it's adorable. He was very excited, wasn't he? We found that little jug in a bottle dump. Again, we were very, very excited. Very excited. <laughs> the doll was gifted, but the little pot we found, and it just looks perfect as a little bathtub. Hmm. <laughs> so these are all of our found frozen charlottes pudding dolls one of our favourite things to find yes it's grown, the family's grown a bit since we then we have found some more since this, yeah we'll see that at the end <sighs> <laughs> this is the cot goodness gracious this yeah. was not fun no <laughs> oh 
He's got to be there. <laughs> Little dog. <dumps>. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we had to use some new metal. We had to choose a little was, bit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Again, trust the process. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is it trust the process? I'm still not sure. You it's... don't like it? I'm not sure. Well, maybe we'll try again one day. I don't know. I, I don't, mean, it's... yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it is what, it's part of it now. Yeah. I think the lace helped. I'm not sure I like the lace. Oh, you don't like the lace? <laughs> oh, no. I, don't, I mean, yeah, it looks a little bit like it's from the torture. <laughs> medieval torture dungeon. <laughs> but we made the um, all the bedding. And put FC, embroidered FC for Frozen Charlotte on the cushion. Yes. <laughs> they range from Victorian to 1920s. And speaking of the 1920s, although I think these are 30s, we found these giant, I love that Guinness advert, mm -hmm. these giant clumps of 1930s newspaper that had obviously been in a fire, but these bits hadn't burnt. The Beef and Pickles pub sign. And yeah, it's come in incredibly useful. Yeah, we've still got lots to use. In yeah, the we've still got ones. some still to... Um, because they were all sort of stuck together, yeah. mountains. Of oh yeah, we've got another pile. Yeah, we that we've got oh. to separate. But we've there's like carpets and there's the piano. Yeah, we did use some of the Christmas one, didn't we? We use did. The music. Yeah. It was, that was exciting going through those piles of newspaper. Incredibly so, yeah. So we're making it a tiny book. Really, the way you're supposed to use a vice. <laughs> well, I mean, people use them. Yeah, but it's, it wasn't fixed to the table. Oh, no, no. <laughs> but you had to glue the. I was trying to do it. You need like those clamps again. We probably binding. need the tool. Yeah. I've seen lots of people using like little clamps for miniatures. We mm -hmm. probably need some of those. And some people use like little blocks and things that like hold things up. Oh. Yeah. Look good though. Yeah, I mean, I was yeah, I was pretty pretty chuffed again. And then this was a picture of an open book on a newspaper page, so we decided to make it into an open book. That's been in lots of different miniatures. It's it been is. moved around. It has. I think it's in the. I think it's in the, the library. Clock library. Yeah. yeah, it's not in the. That's a thing. At the end, you'll see what it looks like now because it has changed a bit yeah there's been lots of additions to the nursery especially yeah it's quite busy <laughs> yes <laughs> then this was a picture such a cute picture. We decided to colour it. I don't know what that round thing is in the background. It's an observatory, didn't we decide? Or like a silo. Someone a said silo. a silo, yeah, possibly. Possibly. The suitcase under the bed was a cruet that yes, we fixed. A salt or pepper yeah. shaker. It would have been so cute. It would have been. So this fabric, this purple fabric, was found at a bottle dump. The blue was not, but that's because that's the underside. Yeah, it's quite difficult to find fabrics in bottle tumps because they rot away, but this is, I'd say, 60s fabric, so it's like nylon, so it doesn't rot, which is not necessarily a good thing. No, but we are reusing it. Yep. We've got new life now. Yeah, every time we see a piece of fabric, we take it, don't mm -hmm. we? It's quite um, <laughs> fancy. 
this was also so this is an old Victorian shoe maybe not as early as Victorian but yes a very old leather shoe that in my infinite wisdom I decided to make a pair of shoes out of it and yeah this again was quite difficult and they look a bit <laughs> The but thing is, we probably it, should have made it soft. We didn't. That's it. Well, yeah, but it's so very brittle. Yeah. yeah. But people keep it. You can sort of store leather, and you're supposed to leave it in a solution for years, I think, or at least a year to keep it soft. But oh. <laughs> if we ever found a Victorian or a medieval shoe, then maybe we'd do that. Yeah. <laughs> I think they're cute. They're like little elfin shoes. Mm -hmm. The principle of a shoe is there. Yeah, it was incredibly difficult. Oh. The thing is, we've actually found two shoes now, so there's two pairs of shoes. Yes. <laughs> Two miniature shoes. Like lucky shoes, lucky boots. Charles. You've probably seen us with lucky boots on this channel. We found always Boot some in the 1920s, isn't there? Yeah. They're quite high. <laughs> yes. Yes, they are. <laughs> They're like Dr. Martin's. I also discover I absolutely despise tying tiny knots and bows. <laughs> All those micro movements again. <laughs> yeah, it's not even where it ends up going. Shot. Yeah, I know. We must have been talking. <laughs> <laughs> this is off on an, another bottle dump adventure, finding some more fabric. This is this is yeah, just like a, a path. Obviously, there was a bottle dump there at some point. There's that purple again, and we decided to make a crazy quilt. This was fun, I enjoyed this. Well, it was on location, wasn't it? It was. <laughs> it took quite a while. Sorry, is that Oh, again? chaos of... <laughs> we, we are going to roll them up, aren't we? We are. That, that, that is something that's on the list. So this is Heaver Castle in Kent, and we went for a sort of sleepover there for a family member's birthday. And... Mm. Um... I want our allotment to look like that. <laughs> yes. And we decided it would be a great location to embroider the crazy quilt. It was very beautiful. Yes, yeah. We got some strange looks from the extended <laughs> yes. family, though. <laughs> we were just quickly stopping and sitting and doing a bit of embroidery. <laughs> I don't think some of the extended family know what we do. So. No. <laughs> it's kind of difficult to explain. Very difficult. What a location to do it in. Mm. Yeah, I was trying to sort of film it against flowers that we just all done on it. Anne Boleyn yeah. lived in Heaver Castle. And the gardens were beautiful. Mm. 
and then we finished it at home. I would like to make a full size crazy quilt one day. I did when you were little. Mm. Takes a long time though. I imagine it does. <laughs> Took quite a long time to make one this size. There's, oh, what's his name? Leo. Leo. The lion tamer. Leo's changed quite a lot too. Mm. Leo was just a uh, body. Just a body. He was just a body. He didn't and have a head. Yeah, well, but, head no, was separate. but no lower half. No, he had a lower half. Okay. He's, oh, yeah, the head. He just didn't have his head. Yeah. Or arms or legs. I think the head we made, didn't we? Wasn't it from a mold? It was a broken head. We oh, made goodness. the bottom of that. Leo yeah. is a definitely <laughs> parts. He's got hairy pants. Yes. Because we think he was from a circus set originally. Yeah, we've got another one. We've got the ringleader, I think. Mm. But we haven't made him yet. That's the thing, we sort of... Yeah, we need to go back, I think. Yeah. More pipe stems as legs for this bed. This bed wasn't so hard. No, this it? bed, yes, you're right. I mean, it's very simple. Yes. <laughs> I like the headboard though. Mm. Yeah, we didn't make that. It's just a very good piece of metal we found like that. These transfers, which you've probably seen before on this channel, because I love them. They are beautiful. And they're not they're not found and we weren't given them, we bought them, but they're vintage, so we feel like it's okay. It doesn't feel like cheating too. Yeah, you have to make some concessions. I mean, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> He's got odd legs. <laughs> He's changed quite a lot too. He has. He's got a jumper now, hasn't he? Yeah, people weren't happy that he was didn't have a jumper. Didn't, yeah, they didn't like that he Thought was naked. Cold. Yeah. And I painted his pants. Oh, look, here you go. Yes, this and is there what, he is. That's, that's all he was. That's how Leo started. <laughs> <laughs> was a bit blurry there. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> there he is. You can see his hairy pants. I'd forgotten there was the making of him in here. Yeah, now you know. Now yes. you see it all. Yep. Yeah, we still did it properly. Like you know, we made the hole so we could thread the arms through. I love Leo. I, it's strange, like the ones that I have to rebuild the most, I think. Mm -hmm. well, we have quite a few that we need to do. That's very thing. We have so many dolls to yes. do. Yes, it's we've got a big doll. Mm -hmm. Remember? Yes, like a like a big bisque baby doll that I found just its shattered face in a in a wall whilst I was in a river in Yorkshire. With Tom Burley. With Tom Burley. He's another YouTuber. And it, yeah, just a shattered doll's face, but I'm pretty sure it's all there. Yeah. And just out of like a mossy crevice. Yeah, yeah. We really should, because we were going to make a paper mache body. Like they properly did it in the old days. With yeah. the old newspaper. Yeah. Yes, I think we should do that. I got his face from the other one. He looks the same. They look like that. Oh, look at him. <laughs> oh. Funny cat blocking my way. Funny <laughs> cat's clicking the mouse with his back foot. I think it looks pretty. I think it. I and think a little. Does cup underneath the bed that's a gazunder. Chamber pot. <laughs> Giant carp. Koi. Koi. No, 
koi cup. Koi cup, Both yeah. <laughs> So this is just all the bottles we found with a little sunny cat <laughs> in the basket on the top shelf. He has broken Sometimes so many things. Sometimes he has knocked them off when he yes. goes up there. Yes. yes. <laughs> and smashed some bottles. So it's we very nosy have to, cat. have to shut the door when we're not in the room. Yes. Well, actually, I just rearranged the whole thing so he can't break yeah. anything anymore. These tails doing exactly the same exactly thing the here same in front thing. of me. That's, yeah. <laughs> so is this the toy box? Yeah, again, the toy box isn't in there anymore. Yes. I think it's in the lighthouse now. Oh, it is, as, a, as not a toy box, as, <laughs> yes, a, as, as a, box. a crate side table, yeah. But that's fine. Mm. I'm, it's, it's fluid. I think people, most people know who own dog's houses, several dog houses, that things can change around all the time. Mm-hmm. You should probably make it about this size, but that's almost perfect. And it's a testimony to your making skills that it fits so well into a non monlocking doll's house yes. space. It's still made out of rubbish, though, that yes. one, that's not... <laughs> oh, <sunny's gonna. laughs> He likes to be involved. Yes. <laughs> and his tongue sticks out a lot. It's not sticking out there, but it's sticking out in front of me right now. <laughs> This is when the, the little boxes would come in handy because you'd lean them on the little yeah. box. You'd have two at an angle. You might have to look into them. More transfers. You actually bought them to go in your doll's house bedroom, didn't you? I did, yeah. Which is sort of on hold now, isn't it? Yes. It is. <laughs> We've got enough to do at the moment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's again. <laughs> He's come to watch. Did you do a good job of that? I think I did, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am kind of thinking that when we move on to the bigger doll's house that we might take some things out and they can be in mm -hmm. those are little bead dolls we made out of beads we found <laughs> this is me. there's the, this the mushroom wheel we were talking about earlier It's dyed with mushrooms, it's not made of mushrooms. Such a nice colour. It's a beautiful colour. Tiny knitting. <laughs> Look, I knit fast, <laughs> don't I? <laughs> yeah. I just made this up. It's not the best jumper in the world. It's more of a vest. Mm -hmm. It keeps his keeps his chest warm and there's his hairy pants. <laughs> I think I painted his leg as well, don't I? Have parts of his body. Yeah. 
Oh, you left him with his one boot on. Well, yeah, he's yeah, got yeah, one yeah, boot. Yeah, I mean, that's mm-hmm. what does. He's got a sock and a boot. He's <laughs> <laughs> got a wooden leg. <laughs> I love Leo. You're never going to get another Leo in the world. He really was sort of made from nothing. Scratch, yeah. yeah. That's the thing, even the smallest thing, the smallest bit. Mm-hmm. I know he's got a funny face, but look, <laughs> his face was built, so he looks happy with the jumper on. Yeah. Yeah, the, based on 1920s, they actually made bead dolls like that, didn't they? Mm-hmm. Like, as charms. Yeah. So we were gifted one, and then we decided, yeah, to make our own. We liked these flowers, didn't we? We did. <laughs> is that the same frame? <laughs> I think, yes, I think it possibly is. It's a crazy place. Mm-hmm. Mind your own business. That's the, the plants. The plant. Yeah. <laughs> This is the family that lives <laughs> in the nursery. All found and either repaired or found as they were. Frank? Yep. Frank didn't have arms. Because I'm editing the doll films, mm-hmm. he didn't have arms. We didn't have arms small enough. But He also didn't have any legs when we found him. No, he I made built his the legs. legs. Yeah. yeah. This one was completely upside down. It was just a tiny bit sticking out, and I pulled it, and she emerged. So cute. Very excited about that. This is tiny little. It, I don't know what it is. I think it's a bonsai. I, I, For, it like was a bonsai tree. It yeah. was contentious at the time, but yes. I think it's a bonsai tree. Yeah, because we found it in a Victorian to early 1900s dump. Those were industrial cleaning things triangle oh yes yeah and that tiny that the, the thing on that i'm just putting now is part of a battery but we thought it looked like these little lead Not toy ships boats, yeah so we uh, included it as a boat i love this plate mum found this in a bottle dump and it's amazing little sort of clowns this was a gift from tom burley who found this where he goes mudlarking tiny bit of victorian school slate and a slate pencil that I think Mum does a very good job with. Those pieces of wood that were shown at the beginning, us picking, were very handy. They were incredibly <laughs> handy. <laughs> yeah, very good. Could you a trip back? Mm. If you. Be interested in seeing us filming us collecting, collecting wood. bits of wood. <laughs> yeah, because you made the frame for it too. Yeah, and we don't just um, use them in the mudlarking one. We used them. We used some of the wood in the li- clock library. Yeah, yeah. It's so. Very good. And like you say, it's not. It's not driftwood. It's river wood. Uh-huh. And it just ends up in in like a grassy patch. Yeah, and you take you take one piece, and the next day two more pieces are there. So, yeah. I think my handwriting is quite neat. Here. It's incredible. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. Looks great. And you did it with the. No, you didn't do it with the slate. You did it with a pencil. No, I did it with the slate pencil. With the slate pencil? Did I? I don't know. <laughs> can't we, we just can't, literally watch it? I know, we can't rewind, rewind it. it. Oh, no, I would have done it with the slate pencil, would I? It wasn't sharpened. You, you couldn't have done those tiny... Sharp. 
Or maybe I can't remember. I will put on the screen when I watch it back to edit <laughs> if it was. I don't know. You must have done it with a pencil. Maybe. Oh, oh I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> if you did it with the slate pencil, it's even more incredible. This, I, I, I'm not pleased with the way this <laughs> ever turned out. This was a long time ago. This is from the other channel. This is a bit... This is footage that's not been on this channel before. Mm -hmm. This is me trying to make a beaded chandelier from found beads and... My goodness, this this actually might be worse than the cot <laughs> and the birdcage. It just... Because, as it, you've seen, they made beaded lampshades like this. We've got some in the 1920s doll's house. And um, I just, like it. I, I think it's terrible, but it's what it is. <laughs> it could have been so much better, I don't understand. It just didn't... I might have to look at the 1920s ones and see more. Mm -hmm. But I was using things we'd found, so... Yeah, they used... um thread right instead of you've put them on metal, metal things yeah. you thread, thread them and then they dangle but it is what it is <laughs> <laughs> I might have to replace it I'm not sure that's a hand painted that place yeah we, we found two mugs to go with it didn't we we did we sent them did oh we, well, we found them on eBay I oh think. yeah yeah That all the guests, well, the family. A lot of children in this house. A lot of children. We have a very big mudlarking family, don't we? We do. <laughs> well, we should get, give him an arm. Probably. Yeah, this is you making one. A little bit So yeah, we have this body and this head. This is a Christmas present. It was, yeah. Yeah, the music in the background is Christmas music. Yes. <laughs> We have a lot of frozen Charlotte bodies and some frozen Charlotte heads, but they don't really go, do they? No. They're always just slightly off size-wise. Well, I think the, the heads that we have are more Frank heads than frozen Charlotte heads. Mm -hmm. They don't have any hair, whereas frozen Charlottes tend to have hair. That that one you're putting on here, I think, was a frozen Charlotte head. Mm -hmm. They used to so, I mean, they could be called pudding dolls too, or penny dolls. Um, they used to put them in <laughs> in um, Christmas puddings. This is why this is a Christmas it's film. Christmas film. <laughs> but I, how people didn't swallow them. They wouldn't have put this one in a Christmas no, pudding. No, not this one. <laughs> <laughs> the, the little tiny ones they would have put in a Christmas pudding, and whoever found it got to keep it. Yeah, or swallowed it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, some of them are so tiny. But they did sell them as penny dolls too for just cheap. Very, very cheap toys, yeah. yeah. That's why you find so many of them, because they would have got lost. I mean, they're so tiny. Yeah. But we always get very excited. Don't we? Yes, incredibly. Well, we wanted, we, it was our dream bucket list to find for a long, long time. And then we found one. And we found another. Yeah, that was just another. after lockdown, wasn't it? The first time the we first went time out. The first time we went mudlarking. Well, the first time, yeah, we went out after lockdown. Yeah. We found we our first crying. Rose in Charlotte, and it was incredible, yeah. <laughs> But then we went back to the same beach and we did five days in a row mm -hmm. of mud larking. And on, was it the mm. second to last day or the last day? The last day. The last day. And mm -hmm. we found our last one. Mm. I don't know what the count is at the moment. No. Or well, how many of you found how? I think it's even at the moment, isn't it? I think so, yeah.
it's very difficult making a little hand mm. and a little foot because they're not ha they're just nubs and you make it and it looks silly but that's what the other one looks like it looks like a tiny boxing glove yeah <laughs> <laughs> and the feet look silly too, but they are quite crude, though, aren't they? Well, some mm -hmm. of them are crude. Some of them are not crude at all. Some of them are very, very, very detailed. <laughs> <laughs> Once it's baked, yeah, because you sand it down afterwards. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it gets sanded smooth. But again, this footage is not on this channel. On from the other channel. Mm -hmm. It just feels correct to bring, not bring the whole films over, but to bring them to this channel because mm -hmm. this, this is where they belong, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we used to make them on the other channel before. We, we did had lots, this one. didn't we? Having we did. started to edit them, there's lots. Colour matching this was very difficult because it's yeah. all a different. Mottled. Yeah. Because it's clearly been in a fire at some point. Quite a lot of them have, haven't they? Mm -hmm. Bernie. Because hmm. oh. that's how they, yeah, they were in rubbish dumps and yeah. they used to burn the rubbish. This is the lid of um, a pin <laughs> packet. I imagine we hadn't found many of our paint palettes yet. It looks good, though. I was quite chuffed. Yeah. yeah. I said chuffed <laughs> a lot in this video. I do apologise. Turns out I like that word. I was quite pleased. So yeah, we use that as a little doll's house. Another one of these industrial cleaning things. Why they're triangular? I don't know. I think cleaning. No, the 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 triangles. They're for um. They're like Paint. tumbling, aren't they? Yeah, that's what yeah. I mean. Industrial cleaning. Cleaning. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, they, so that's made of triangles because they'd get. It's a good shape for. You think so? Tumbling. Well, maybe not. I mean, I know you get round ones as well. But they make very good building bricks in a mudlark in doll's house. They do. <laughs> Yeah, yes. there's the marbles. A tiny little glass, round, don't know what they're for. It's it's crazy how excited I get when I find a tiny glass ball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what, yeah, I, don't, I have no idea what they're for. Maybe just cabochons, I don't know, just settings for rings and things. Mm. Or They're definitely not beads. There's no, no holes. holes. But we find quite a lot, don't we? Mm. Like all different colours. That one is just beautiful. sea glass as well, isn't it? We found that on a sea glass Ooh. Ooh. beach. <laughs> oh dear. They're all rolling. I think they're stuck to the floor. Oh now. dear. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, there's been a lot more added since mm. than you see at the end. Or in a minute. And I can't remember the order. I think we're going to go on to. Bless you, Sunny. I think this shows you a bit of what it looks like now. Mm -hmm. And then it it goes on to a tiny bit of the study, which we haven't finished, which we'll talk about. Mm -hmm. That's what it looks like now. It's mm. gone. <laughs> no, oh. no, that wasn't what it looked like now. Oh, wasn't it? This, that tiny doll I found on a beach years ago, and I was so you, you excited. Cried. I did. Well, did it's well, yeah. so tiny. It's stunning. But we were never going to find legs. Arms or, or legs, arms. no. So <laughs> I um, decided I'd do it a bit like a, a peg doll, because that's like the, a doll about the size of that doll, a peg doll. And again, I could probably do it better now, because it is a bit rough, a bit, a bit creepy too. <laughs> and I didn't want well, to they paint. They move. Yeah, they move. And I didn't want to paint them because it's part of it. But yeah, it looks a bit like something out of, again, a horror movie, <laughs> a bit scarecrow esque. 
yeah, we decided to make a little walnut bed. And uh, yeah, you can get stunning little walnut beds. Yeah, this is our second one, isn't it? We made one before, but we weren't totally pleased with it, so we made another one. Mm-hmm. That's the way. I think this one worked better than the first one. It did, yeah. And that little base that it's on is like a battery housing. For us, this is now a blank screen, but we know that this is going to be what it, what looks, it looks like, like now. now. <laughs> and there are lots of new additions, yeah. Yes. We can talk about that more. Ah. And this is the study that is incomplete. But we made that desk out of... It's like a tile and more of the wood. We made that chair out of feathers. All just completely <sighs> feathers. That was... Yeah incredibly difficult that is a globe i made out of like a marble or a curtain pole that i painted the world on and a toothpaste cap and a piece of metal it's a little glass bell jar we made with a new york garnet in it that was sent to us by a lovely subscriber another fireplace that we made I that, love that clock. tiny clock that we made we found the little clock face it's a little pewter one. We found that on the beach, and then I think that's from a belt, the thing that it's mounted on, and it just it just worked so yeah. well. That's the feather chair mum made there. Sturdy chair. The sturdy chair. <laughs> and then I made the incredibly delicate flouncy chair. one. But that'll be fine. That'll go in the bedroom. Mm-hmm. So yeah, completely out of feathers. It was a really fun idea, but then it was incredibly difficult. Now we have to finish it. Still have to finish that. But <laughs> this is the first sort of mud locking doll's house we did over on our other channel years ago. And <laughs> the reason that it's at the end is because it's quite crude. <laughs> yes, and not very well filmed. No, no, no. Well, this was years ago. This is it is three, four years ago, three years ago. <laughs> I know. So yeah, the doll on the left is Bitsy, the first doll we made, and the doll on the right is Norma, the second doll we made. The picture in the frame back there is of the beach we found all the doll bits on. It's a little acorn light that I made with a button. <laughs> nice use of shadow there, though. Yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so dark. The bottle that we found. I know. This is before we had sort of a, a light. light. We had nothing at this point, really. Whoop. <laughs> It's a miracle anyone watched these videos yeah. at all. Uh, how we got here, I have no idea when this is where we started. It's the little dog that we fixed. It was a broken head and didn't have any legs. Another one. It didn't have any legs. And we gold leafed them for yeah, some reason. Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> I was into gold leafing then. Mm -hmm. I should probably paint them. I don't, well, that's what they are now. Yeah. The pipe, pipe the bowl, pipe bowl light. light. The broken pipe bowl light sticking in the ceiling. And obviously there's a mix of doll's house furniture in there and mudlarked things. Honestly, it's so dark. Yeah. <laughs> it's the micro movements. Then the floor, it's because the floor's not flat. No. Not even then. They must have not had Sunny for very long then. Mm. Oh my goodness. <laughs> then we decorated the doll's house for Christmas and decided we would do some stop motion of them decorating. That's a tree we made completely out of nails, nails like mudlark nails with a little crinoid star fossil on the top. Then we made some stockings for each of the dolls to hang on them. You can just see mum's fingers quite often in this, in this clip. And it, yeah, I mean... We were going for a bagpuss type thing and it... You can see my hand! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's Look, again, it's, that's yeah. a feeling. The yeah, feeling's and it was there. just, it was joyful and fun. Yeah. All those mudlarked beads. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all the decorations were made out of beads we found. I mean, I think it, I mean, it looks quite cute there. I mean, it was quite crude, but I think it's... <laughs> yeah. I mean, this is where, you know... We went to look for a bottle dump and found that dog. And nothing else. Nothing else. He had broken front paws. Yeah, so we fixed him. But yeah, literally nothing. nothing. I mean, some other like broken sort of bottles and pottery pieces and then just a tiny little dog. We called the film The Tale, the tale of a Little of Lost, lost dog. dog. 
There's the first birdcage in the in the shot. The that wobbly part. shot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, and then this is currently where it is at, and we have to finish it. There's so much more to do. Yes. Well, we're thinking, because the original doll's house, and we're thinking of going back to the original house and maybe putting dividing walls up mm -hmm. and putting the study, moving the study that's unfinished into there, mm -hmm. maybe. And then leaving the kitchen and the nursery as a separate section to go next to it. Mm -hmm. And then we have something that we want to build on top, don't we? That's yes. very exciting. Yes. Out of lots of these sort of shards of multicoloured Victorian glass, we find. If you can imagine. And yes. there's also going to be a garden yes. in front. Well, we've been talking about that for years. <laughs> I know we have. I know we have. This well, is, we've yeah. got too many ideas. I know. They just want to do it all. I know. Well, this is why we're trying to finish things. The 1920s is finished now. Yep. We have just got a new doll's house, which we will have to introduce to you. Yep. It's a little bit scary. It gets a bit overwhelming sometimes. Yes, we've still got to finish the borrowers. Yes. Grandfather clock. We've got multiple other clocks yes. that we bought at the same got time the as the one we turned into house. the library. Um, there's other. We've got other ideas. We have other things to turn into things. Yes. Yes. So okay. uh, this is a sort of housekeeping, but we are going to start to finish this. I think we yes. need to divide the doll's house and concentrate on this for a little bit, maybe. I don't yes. know. Or maybe do some clocks. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we'll create a poll on our community yeah, page maybe. and ask you with, our, with a sort of our next set of ideas and ask you guys if you wanted to vote on which one you, want you wanted because we're slightly indecisive about it yes. there's too many as things could, that we want to do you could probably tell <laughs> so thank you as always um, for watching we hope you enjoyed and thank you for 30,000 which is the whole point of this film yes 30,000 subscribers it's absolutely incredible it really and is it's all down to you and we cannot believe it's happened and especially in like such a short time frame for us. And it's, on a second channel. This was supposed to be for, 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 almost for fun, yeah, wasn't it? We just because, made this yeah. channel because we loved making miniatures and we understood that quite a lot of people on our mudlarking channel weren't that interested in miniatures and they were subscribing to see the mudlarking content. So we were like, oh, we'll just start another channel just for those viewers that do like the miniatures. And then we discovered the wonderful community of miniatures on YouTube. And yeah. It's been incredible. So thank you so very much. If you did enjoy, it is free to subscribe and you can do down you can do so down below. And there is a little bell icon that you can click and it will tell you when we upload one of these projects <laughs> next. So oh my goodness, Sunny Cat's tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye.